loves it's Sean A here and I decided to do a tag since you guys know I love to do tags okay guys so in honor of throwback Thursday I'm gonna go ahead and do a throwback tag now if you're wondering like well, why is she so close to the damn camera I want to be up close and personal with y'all I have to make a confession I haven't completely opened up to YouTube yet y'all see my vlogs y'all see me you know showing my life and stuff like that but you know sometimes doing something new you kind of hold back a little bit but i'm here to let y'all know there's about to be some changes some crazy changes and i'm super excited um the first thing that's going to change is that instead of doing daily vlogs i'm going to start posting vlogs mondays wednesdays and fridays mondays vlogs you can look forward to those coming off of the weekend because it's going to be whatever we do on the weekend so those will be some crazy vlogs and then um the wednesday vlog is going to be from monday and tuesday the friday vlog is going to be from thursday no wednesday and thursday so that's a little something different and then we're just going to be ourselves like i try to tell my husband like watch your mouth don't cuss but that's not us and we want to be as real with y'all as possible so let's go ahead and start this tag Okay, the first question is, what year were you born in? I'm an, I was born in 89. I don't know why I thought about that. But I consider my, I'm an 80s baby, but I consider myself a 90s baby because I was only in the 80s for like two months. Um, What TV show did you grow up watching? Um, it, went like, it was like weird because it was Nickelodeon was real big. And then it went to Cartoon Network. When Cartoon Network came out, that was real big. And then, um disney channel came out like right before i hit my teenage years so i would say um nickelodeon was um all that keenan and kill uh ren and stimpy what else? it was just so it was so much um clarissa explains it all rugrats um it was so many good shows on nickelodeon which i miss nickelodeon so much it's not the same anymore um on cartoon network powerpuff girls like i loved the powerpuff girls um, Cow and Chicken, uh, Courage the Cowardly Dog, uh, Samurai Jack, um, uh, Ed and Eddie. I used to love Ed and Eddie. Um, and then uh, on Disney Channel, it was um, uh, The Proud Family, Even Stevens, Lizzie McGuire, uh, The Famous Jet Jackson, Rest in Peace. Um, it was just so many good shows. Oh. I loved Kim Possible and that's the Raven yeah so um and I still watch Disney because I have kids now so I get to catch up on all the new shows like dog with the uh dog with the blog I was about to say dog with the vlog um and all the shows that they have on right now but those were the cartoons I grew up watching and I really really miss them they don't make cartoons like they used to anymore um what did I want to be when I grew up and uh, do I still want to be that when I was growing up I wanted to be a princess ballerina I still want to be a princess ballerina. I think I've said this in a, a previous tag. Like, who wouldn't want to do that? That's amazing. Uh, what were your favorite toys to play with? Barbies. Like, I was obsessed with Barbies. And I was praying to God when I was pregnant with Tiana that she was a girl. Because I cannot wait until I can buy her Barbies. Like, I have a whole vlog talking about Barbies. And is it weird to go ahead and buy my five-month-old Barbies now so she can be ready when she's you know, a little bit older to play. I cannot wait to do their hair and dress them up. I'm going to go to all the Barbie dream houses. She's going to have all the Barbie cars. And Barbie's fancy now. Barbie has like Gucci and Prada and Louis Vuitton and all that kind of stuff now. Barbie that I had wasn't dressing like that. She had the party dress and that's about it. So I'm like really excited. But Barbie's, that's where it was at. Um, What's the most embarrassing thing you can remember doing? I think the most embarrassing thing well i wasn't really really young but i was in middle school and i was a cheerleader and of course you know you're thinking cute you got your little skirt on and it was during a basketball game and i really really liked one of the basketball players he was a great older than me but he doesn't he didn't even know i existed and we're actually friends on facebook right now so uh but i was trying to be cute and i was going up the bleachers and fell trip and fell all the way down the bleachers and like i wanted to just crawl under a rock and die it was the most embarrassing moment of my life like 
skirt. Thank God I have on spanky pants underneath the cheerleading skirt, but skirt was just up. It was done. So that was like one of the most embarrassing things that I can actually remember doing, but I know I have so many more things. Um, three songs you love to listen to as a child. Anything Spice Girls. I was crazy obsessed. It was Barbies and Spice Girls. Like that was my life. Um, still to this day, like if the Spice Girls ever got back together and decided to do like a reunion concert, I would spend all my savings to go see the Spice Girls. I don't think y'all understand. I would spend all my savings. Uh, I remember um, a few Olympics back, they had um, they had showed up and it was like a surprise performance. Yo, I was like in tears, crying. And at this time, I think I was. I was in my 20s. I was in my 20s and I was crying because the Spice Girls were there and they're performing. Um, that's all I listened to when I was younger. I wasn't really into like, I, I wasn't into hip hop and R&B like I am now. Um, I really didn't get into like hip hop and stuff until middle school and I was just listening to like Texas rap, New York rap and stuff like that. So, but um, Spice Girls was where it was at when I was younger. Uh, what was one funny thing you dressed up for Halloween as? You dressed up as for Halloween when you were younger. Um, I didn't really dress up anything funny. I was always trying to be cute. Um, nothing. I was always cute. I was always like a ballerina. I was the Yellow Ranger a couple of years because I loved the Yellow Ranger back when the Power Rangers, like the original Power Rangers with the Asian girl was the Yellow Ranger and then it changed to the black girl, Aisha. Yeah. So I was like the Yellow Ranger. So I, I guess that's like the funniest thing I've ever been because that's not me anymore. But uh, what else? Tell a funny story of something you remember happening when you were young. Okay, so dad, if you're watching this, I'm sorry, but I have to tell this story. Okay, so um, I had to be maybe like 10, 11, no, yeah, like 10, 10, 11. And um, my brother, he's like three years younger than me, so he's around that age. But um, we had went, it was Sunday, and Taco Bell used to have that Taco Sunday thing. I think they still do where you get like tacos for 69 cents. Well, for dinner, my parents decided to get a big old box of tacos, right? So everyone's eating, and my dad's just eating tacos, eating tacos, eating tacos. And we're like, yo, like you're gonna you're gonna throw up dad. But he didn't he wasn't listening, he was just eating those tacos. I don't know if he ate too much or the tacos just didn't rub his stomach the right way, but he started throwing up. So he was in the bathroom. Me and my brothers stood by the door in the bathroom we were uh, uh, making like throw up noises right and he gets on to stop yo he got so mad he chased us <laughs> with the belt and he caught Irie. i heard if it went back into the bathroom and i locked the door and Irie's beating my brother Irie's beating on the door like help help and you hear him getting whooped like i still feel bad about that but that was hilarious i will always remember that the time my brother got whooped <laughs> because my dad threw up from eating too many tacos like that is we still tell tell that story to anyone that'll listen but that was that was a crazy time um are there any special things you've kept from when you were a child i have a lot of keepsakes uh my whole bedroom set is still at my parents house it's in their guest room now which i would like to pass on to tiana once she gets older but we don't know yet because it, it's you know it's older and stuff like that she might want to and you know she might want a different bed that she might not want moms but um one thing that i have is um uh, my bunny rebecca you know what? let me go get her this is rebecca she's my rebecca bunny bear i got her in 96 so i was about easter of 96 so i was about to turn six years old and I've had her forever. She came with, um, she had a bow in her hair. She had on like a little outfit and then her feet, see how her feet are like really big? Her feet had like little house shoes on that I could fit at the time. And then in the back, she has a zipper. There's nothing in her now, I don't think. Yeah, there's nothing in her. But um, I used to put money in there. I used to put candy in there to hide from my brother. But one time I had, um, our elementary school hosted a sleepover, which is like weird nowadays. People wouldn't let their kids go because people are crazy. But um, our school had a sleepover and I took her with me. Well, when it came time for our parents to pick us up in the morning, I could not find her to save my life. Like I cried, I did not sleep. Like I've had this thing since I was six years old. And um, 
I remember um, being in class the next day, like I was just so distraught. Like I was tired, I had bags under my eyes because I've been up all night, not able to sleep without my Rebecca. And um, I remember on the overhead, they called me to go down to the principal's office. I'm like, oh my God, like I was a good kid. So I didn't know what was going on. So that made me cry even more because I thought I was in trouble. But the principal, uh, Miss Wilkinson, she had Rebecca and she gave her back to me because she knew I was looking for her so much. But I absolutely love Rebecca and I really, really hope that Tiana, I'm gonna pass her on to Tiana. And I hope that Tiana loves her too. What was something um, weird you used to do as a kid? I did a lot of weird things. I was a, I was a nerd growing up. Like I honestly was. I was really into books, um, really into my education and you know, I still liked stuff that other girls liked, but I was very, I was very much into education. But, um, one thing I did weird with my friend Jackie that was right across the street from my house, um, her dad would give us limes and we'd cut the limes in half and, uh, we put table salt on the limes and we just suck on the lime, like just eating the lime with salt and, uh, with a Capri Sun. And you know, the mailboxes, like the big mailboxes that have everyone's like, you know what I'm saying? Like in subdivisions has everyone's little mailbox right there. We'd sit right in front of ours and just eat those limes with the salt and the Capri Suns. We used to do that all the time. Like crazy stuff. But um yeah, I think that's that's one of the things that I did that was that was pretty weird. Um, what's the scariest thing you remember that happened to you when you were younger? Oh my god. Okay, so this is the story. We were at Walgreens. I was maybe 10 years old. At the time I was still, you know, pretty much into Barbies. I didn't stop playing with Barbies until I was 13, like, honest. But um, we were at Walgreens and, uh, you know, I, my, I told my mom, I was like, hey, I'm gonna go to the toy aisle. And she's like, okay, I'm right here. And she said, just stay there and I'll come and get you when I'm done. I said, okay. So, you know, I'm looking at the Barbies. Well, the toy aisle was pretty like messy, of course, because kids are in and out of there. And so um, I was, I grabbed a Barbie. I was looking at her and I was gonna ask, go ask my mom, you know, hey, like sh she's only $9, can I get her or whatever? But I was like, no, I'm gonna wait. You know, my mom's gonna wait here. So I put the Barbie just back on the, on the shelf. I didn't put her up on the little hangy thing. So all the while, you know, like when you're shopping, you hear music on the overhead. The music stopped and I hear someone go, put that back. I was like, what the heck? And the music kept playing. I'm like, okay, maybe I'm tripping. And then I kind of like walked, walked off like to another part of the toy aisle. And I'm still looking around like, I know I heard something, like I'm not crazy. It said, you, in the toy aisle, put that back. And I was like, what the heck is going on? Like I'm freaking, I'm 10 years old, I'm freaking out. And so I didn't want to move because my mom told me not to move. And so finally like the music, like every time they would talk, the music would stop. So everyone could hear this and the music would start playing again. Well, finally my mom comes over and um, she's like, what's going on? I was like, mom, did you hear that? She goes, yeah, I heard that. My mom was pissed. So she goes to the front and asks to speak to the manager. So this little dorky short guy comes out. I swear if I ever see him, like he's gonna get a piece of my mind, but this short guy comes out with glasses and he goes, can I help you, ma'am? And she's like, someone's harassing my daughter. We told him the whole story. Lo and behold, I knew the voice. Like you don't just forget a voice like that. It was him over the overhead thing. I guess looking at the camera, saw a kid in the toy out and it's like harassing me, but that scared the crap out of me. So for years after that, I never left my mom's side in a store. Like, true story, like that scared the crap out of me. And I, when Jason's with me in the store and same for Tiana, when she gets older and she wants to wonder, no, you're staying right by my side. Because if that happens again, it's probably gonna put something off in my head and I'm gonna snap and I'm gonna go off on a manager, even if it was them or not. So that was like the scariest thing that's ever happened to me when I was younger. Um, and then the last question is, how is the world different now from how it was when you were a child i would say that it's not kids aren't as innocent as they used to be they didn't get to be kids as long as we got to be kids like we were kind of my generation like 80s you know into 90s i'm 25 i'll be 26 this year like we got to experience both we got to experience 
being outside all day, sweating and playing tag and riding bikes and running through water sprinklers. But we also were the generation that grew up with computers. Like we were the ones that taught our parents how to use computers. Cause you know, we were the, like the first people to take computer classes in school. So I just think that our generation really got to learn how to not only interact with people online and on social media, but we also got to learn how to react in the real world. Like we can talk to people. These kids now, they're not going to know how to talk to people because they're constantly in front of a computer screen. And you know, it might sound crazy because I'm saying this on my YouTube page, which is social media. And that's fine. Like if you want to be on social media and all that, have a ball. It's your life. But you need to figure out how to interact in the real world because that's what it's about like these kids they don't know how to talk they're constantly texting on their cell phones and we're all you know we're all um guilty of it it's just how the world is and that's absolutely fine but you need to know how to do both and i really think that our generation the 80s slash 90 babies really got to we got the best of both worlds we honestly did but i'm definitely teaching my kids like hey it's a time for social media. It's a time for online interaction. There's a time for real world interaction. And I want you to be able to look somebody in the eyes. Yes, ma'am. No, sir. How to talk to people. How to shake people's hand. And don't, you know, especially with, with Brian. Like, they're not going to be able to be that way. Because Brian is, oh my God. Brian makes friends. Brian can walk in a store and come out later with like 10 new friends. So I don't think my kids are going to have that issue. But it's just sad to know that the media has taken over so much that kids don't know how to 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 deal you know and uh i really want to hit on a topic that's you know big right now this whole cyber bullying like you know when we were younger we dealt with bullying as well but the thing was it was just people at your school in front of you and so it's like you know your parents told you yo somebody's messing with you and they try to fight you or something, you fight them back. You take care of it yourself. Like, it's, it's no crying. It's no tattletelling. Nothing like that. You handle it yourself. But in this day and age, it's so horrible because it's not only your classmates that are bullying you or, you know, people that you see on a day-to-day -day basis. It's the world. People are getting bullied. And it's just ugly. And it really, really needs to stop. But, um... You know, and, and if you are getting bullied, you definitely need to tell somebody. Like, don't keep that to yourself. And don't feel embarrassed about getting bullied. Everybody got bullied. I got bullied big time. Got bullied for my forehead. I got a big old five head. I've heard all the jokes. Um, I got bullied for the way I act because I'm like a regular black girl. I got bullied because my hair isn't like a regular black girl. Um, I just, I got bullied for being a nerd, liking to read, liking books. Like, I got bullied for everything. But the thing was... I loved myself enough to know that what other people said about me don't matter. And I've grown up with, I don't care what anybody thinks about me or what anybody says about me because I love myself, I know my self-worth, and I will never let anyone take that away from me or make me feel less of what I am. And I really, really hope that people can take that message. If you're watching this and you just feel like low because somebody said something about you, brush it off brush it off and if it gets to the point where they are harassing you it's a thin line between bullying and harassing like if someone is harassing you and it's really messing with your psyche it's really messing with your mind you need to talk to somebody about it and get it to stop okay get it to stop but uh, on a lighter note so that's the tag um i really 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 love all of my subscribers i'm so excited because we're at 80 subscribers that may not be a lot to like the people that have hundreds and thousands and millions and billions of subscribers but um that's a good thing for us because we know people are really watching and they're really loving the content but definitely guys make sure you're interacting with us make sure you're following our fan page on facebook love on sixth make sure you're following us on twitter at love on sixth make sure you're following on instagram it's shade reyes zero eight s a d e r e y e s zero eight and make sure that you are interacting with us down below in the comments make sure you're subscribing as well see you later guys bye kisses from the missus